Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for Thursday. Today I'm finishing up reading for Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. And this reading here is for Capricorn. Welcome Capricorn. The reading starts with the Shamanen Oracle. It has 40 soul cards. And the card that came out for you is the dragonfly. The dragonfly and the hummingbird, they are both important in shamanism. Both have a magical shimmer in the light. And both are known for their enormous mobility, for their flying skills, which is an acrobatic flying and a love of freedom. The dragonfly is always found near a water source and mythologically that makes the dragonfly a symbol of happiness. Water means life-sustaining energy and without water there is no life. The dragonfly is an important companion, so believed the old Germans that a dragonfly would support the goddess Frigg, the old Sky Queen. This Sky Queen was helped out with regards to a contact to our ancestors in the other world and thus helped us out to receive messages from our ancestors. Celtic people had own ideas about dragonflies. They believed that dragonflies are small dragons which were used by the fairies and the elves as a flying object to get from here to there. Could it be that our modern time airplanes were helped out by watching dragonflies to become a reality? That's a thought. In Asia, the dragonfly is seen as courage, vitality, prosperity and luck. You are asked to give a gift to someone says this card, a gift can be your time, your attention and your love. Become that lucky charm for a special person. Take a day out and spend it at a sea or some other body of water and watch insects flying around and maybe you spot a dragonfly. And then remember the thought you had when you encountered the dragonfly. When you do this, the dragonfly will bring you a message. With regards to relationships, happy is the one who does not hold on to happiness too tightly is the message. But let happiness come and go on own terms. Give your relationship a chance, says the dragonfly. Things work good and so they need another chance. Do not throw a relationship away when you encounter some difficulties. Things can be restored if one is willing. There is a medicine aspect to the card. The magic of love is to accept what life is bringing. There are many hidden jewels and your open mind can help you to recognize beauty and to appreciate it. Ask this, when was the last time I opened up to see beauty, to really see it? The Priestess of Light Oracle card that came up for you is Abundance. And Abundance relates to fortune, to wealth and to plenty. 
The goddess Lakshmi holds out her hands in divine offering on the card and the universe responds with such abundant blessings that gold coins come cascading down. The gold in her gown and on her neck, ears and wrists shines with the life-giving light of the sun which radiates upward from the top of her head. She is the light of the world bringing boundless generosity. This portends a time of great joy and receptivity for you. The prosperity you have been longing for is coming your way. An investment may pay off or an unexpected windfall may appear. But even if the increase in wealth comes slowly at first, the abundance is sure to expand as you allow yourself to focus on the present value already in your life. Always remember that value comes in many forms. There is good fortune in nature, in friendship, and in the simple moments of small choice. This grateful awareness will shine in your life like the sweet violet aura around Lakshmi's luminous being. At her feet, baby elephants herald the arrival of true prosperity, bringing with them an energy of strength and peaceful certainty. This card is telling you to rest assured for great joy and prosperity will soon be expanding throughout your life. See this affirmation, I open my mind and my life to the blessings of the universe. Unlimited wealth is coming to me in wonderful and unexpected ways. The Oracle of the Fairies card is Flourish. And the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. From dirty mud, beautiful flowers emerge. We can liken mud to the traits of life, to the things that have hurt us, but also ultimately shaped us and helped us to grow into the people we are today. From pain comes growth, and this growth can inspire others who are going through similar discomfort. The Lotus Flower Fairy comes to say that you have a wealth of experience that can be used to help others. When we learn from the past and from painful experiences, we can truly and fully flourish into beautiful beings who shine from the inside. You are a beautiful flower, born of the lessons of the past. So if you are going through a tough time right now, this fairy reminds you that you are receiving life's spiritual ingredients with which to grow and to flourish. This card also tells you that a lotus flower and a rose cannot be compared. For every flower is unique and beautiful, and the same goes for us humans. We each have special talents and skills, and no one can be as good at being you as you are. The fairies know this only too well. So celebrate the wonderful person you have become and continue to flourish. Precious one. The quantum oracle card is the loving woman. We just had a loving man. 
Now comes the loving woman. And it is about tender-hearted feminine energy. And of course, that relates to both male and female beings. On the card we see a smiling woman sitting in a field with fruits and flowers on her lap while a puppy sleeps by her side. The energy that comes from her is supportive and caring and you will soon find those vibrations also coming to you. There is a woman in your life or maybe a man in your life who is going to increase the love and support around you. This caring person may be a friend or a family member or even a work relationship. If she or he is not in your life yet, you will be meeting her or him soon. There may also be a romantic connection here. The woman herself may be in new intimate relationship or she may be introducing you to your next heartfelt love. Whatever form she takes, this tender-hearted woman will be valuable in your life. So this affirmation, I treat myself with love and compassion and I attract those energies in my daily life. The Divine Feminine card is the Black Madonna and the Black Madonna is Our Lady of the Hermits and she says I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. So who is she? The Black Madonna represents the power that we all have to emerge from the darkness transformed. There are over 500 Black Madonnas throughout Europe. Historians believe many of the icons are actually of the Egyptian goddess Isis and her son Horus, which were carried over from Egypt during the Crusades. Other icons of the Black Madonna are meant to represent earth goddesses and are worshipped for the fertility miracles attributed to them. She is often depicted holding the royal scepter of a ruling monarch. The psychologist Marian Woodman believes that the Black Madonna represents a new awareness or consciousness toward the earth and our bodies. She represents the wisdom we can only accrue when we go through the often painful fires of transformation. In the pregnant virgin, the writings of Woodman relates that only the intensity of the fire can unite body and soul. So the Black Madonna helps us become conscious of the spirit in matter, of the light in the dark, and of the intersection of sexuality and spirituality. The particular Black Madonna resides in the Benedictine monasteries in Einsiedeln in Switzerland. The abbey is dedicated to Our Lady of the Hermits because the chapel where she resides was originally the hermitage of St. Meinrad, a 9th century hermit. Einsiedeln in Switzerland is the birthplace of the renowned alchemist Paracelsus. Alchemy is the physical process of transforming base metals into unallowed, unallowed gold, which represents a spiritual and metaphysical process 
of burning away all obstacles to just be the soul. The Black Madonna is loved for having been through the fires of loss and for emerging with a greater capacity to love. Every afternoon for hundreds of years, the monks of the Abbey have come out from meditation to sing Salve Regina to Our Lady of the Hermits. Ask this soul voice meditation, how is my solitude serving me? And say this intention, I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. And the white offering oil the card that came out for you is relationship. Call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. Let it unfold in the perfect way. There is no need for fear of letting go of your control. Your needs are always abundantly met. That was your reading, Capricorn. I thank you very much for listening. I wish you a beautiful day today. I wish you a rest of a good week. Take care and goodbye.